Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations. And I know it's late in the day, but I didn't want to um, not present the spread for today. I had pulled it early this morning, but I had um, my daughter's Christmas show today. So we've been out with family enjoying the blessings um, and the beautiful reading which I received today. I just want to give you some information that came to me through the Divine Feminine uh, Collective. And it was specifically for light bearers. They say they like to call us light bearers because we truly carry the light of the divine within us. And they said, you are the sun that will shine brightly through these days of change. Um, they also say that we carry this planet forward into the joy of its rebirth to rejoice the coming is near. Prepare the way. Shine your light even brighter. Be the hope the planet needs. Do not despair. Love is here. So with that in mind, that beautiful, beautiful message that I have received, um, I pulled three cards from the Ascended Masters deck by Doreen Virtue, and I pulled three cards from the Divine Guidance uh, by Shirley Carnish. The first ones I'm going to um, talk about is the ones that I pulled from the um, Ascended Masters because I wanted to know what energies were here and close to us now. And the first one is a beautiful message with Choose Peace and it's Paramansa uh, Yogananda. And it says, Choose the Path of Peace. And as we think about the various options and possible outcomes, which will bring the greatest feeling of peace to your body and to your mind, and that is your answer, they say. Listen to your heart. Listen to the truth that you find there. And that there is also always a peaceful alternative to any situation. You know, that came up for me yesterday, kind of a little situation. And I just put my energies into the readings that I did yesterday for different people that had requested them. And lo and behold, something really wonderful happened for me today. Something that I was totally not expecting. Some monies came in so that now for Christmas, you know, I can get the things for the kids that I had wanted to. So I think... Um, and I'm in great appreciation for this beautiful blessing from the divine. The second card that I pulled is fertility with Pan. Now, this talks to me about being happy and playful, abundance, music. You see him playing his flutes. And it's so, um, you see the water, you see water coming down here into this card. Sorry, I'm kind of like, in an awkward position here today doing something a little bit different but you see the the river here and these beautiful flowers and he's here with this rushing water so I think that to me is the rushing abundance that's coming to us that everything is open right now everything is fertile everything all the new ideas um, new projects all this alignment that is coming into place that everything um, will grow um, we just have to uh, just basically let go and let go of worries or guilt and just let go of these final things that are holding you back. And the next card, which is amazing as well, is the flow of prosperity with Lakshmi, my favorite. She, I just love her. She's on this beautiful um, lotus flower there with its thousand petals. And today in my meditation with the Divine Mother, I always ground myself in the sacred geometry of the sacred flower. And this morning, when I saw that sacred flower, I kind of see it as lines. But this morning, I saw it as a fully bloomed, opening lotus flower. So I was just, I, I have to tell you, I was just crying this morning when I saw it. It was, it was such a um, profound moment for me. And... Um, I thank you that I, I get to share this with you guys and let you know that it's going to be okay to be happy, that it's joyous, it's wonderful, it's a birthing. So what, what do we as mothers look for? We don't 
you know, we're going through the pain of the moment, but what do we, uh, our intention is what is the new life that is coming about. And that's what it's all about, being in the flow of prosperity, supporting you and your loved ones. Now we go on to Cheryl Lee's cards, and the first card that came out that goes with choosing peace is the card of awakening and we've had this card within the last couple of days and I know other readers have pulled it there in the center is the green for the heart chakra and that solar sun energy around it with the higher um, crown chakra energy of the purple and it is a super powerful card we're entering into a time of complete awakening <clears throat> to our higher self to our intuition to our gifts um, opening up from the heart center and really living from that space of the energy of love. The next card that I pulled, I've, I don't believe I've ever actually pulled this card. And you see how many swirls this card has? Each swirl is super, super energetic. It's, you know, just coming out in all directions, that beautiful uh, golden light that I'm attracted to. And it says, the card of celebration is time for um, play and let, letting go of the stresses to enjoy to enjoy the holidays, whether you're with family or friends. Um, enjoy this time. Celebrate life. Celebrate this new energy that's coming. Um, let go of the old. Allow it to go and celebrate the new things that are going to be coming into your life after the chaos that we're going through. The last card, which again, these many, many spirals, and to me it's all infinite signs, all number eights, right? And this is the card of alignment. And now that we're coming into complete and utter, uh, utter alignment, planetary alignment with the center of the galaxy on tomorrow and receiving that golden ray, that this is the beginning of the shift both spiritually <clears throat> and energetically. It's a time of completely, to be completely connected, to completely be in alignment with your higher being, your source. So go within, spend tomorrow in meditation, spend it in joy, spend it with family, uh, spend it celebrating. Um, everything is moving in, at perfect timing, perfect order. The divine plan is coming about. So you will be in harmony, in spiritual harmony, in physical harmony, um, in um, just all of the dimensions coming together and working with us to elevate us to the fifth dimension in that energy of love. So I send you many blessings today. I promise tomorrow I will post uh, as early as I can um, because I will be spending the day myself in meditations. I'll be going tomorrow. Um, with my friend Andreina Womu to her healing center, to the AMA Healing Center in uh, Coral Springs, Florida. And tomorrow evening, we're going to have a beautiful uh, circle of healing and a circle of light workers together to usher in this wonderful energies and beautiful day. Um, I wish you the blessings and the love of the divine feminine as it flows through me. I send it out to all of you who watch, who all of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. To all who read my blogs and to those that you touch in their in your lives. I send you blessings. Namaste.